Hey guys, welcome to the Micro Dairy Farmer channel. Today we're just going to talk about how I am using a horse property that has two horse stables and some pasture, and now I'm using it for my micro dairy. This is the first year I'm doing my micro dairy, so some things may change, but let's talk about how I'm utilizing it and how I'm making it work for cows. So let's just walk right into the main barn here. It's got a hay mow that's used as its original purpose. Um, it's where I store my hay. But we come in here and you can see we've got my four what were horse stalls. So I'm milking two cows. I've got a dry cow as well. And I have a calf. So I have a calf in one stall. She's on milk, so she's in here to get her milk during milking time. The other three stalls I will open up when it is time for chores. And the three cows will just separate into these three stalls. That's pretty self-explanatory. So this is something that I am utilizing as differently than it was made for. So this is the original wash stall. There's a floor drain right under this chute here. I'm using it as the milking area as well as storage of things like pitchfork, you know. I have some bags of feed here that aren't supposed to be here, but um, they go in the other barn normally. So this is a clipping shoe I would use for shows and fairs and things like that. And now it doubles as my milking parlor stall. And so the cows just come right in during milking. I keep some hay in front of them in case they want to munch while they're, they're milking. And I'm using a bucket milking system. So, I mean, I keep my vacuum pump over here. This doesn't have to stay protected from the environment because it doesn't touch the milk. So this is where all the milking happens. And it's the first thing that I'm using for a different purpose than it was originally for. Obviously the stalls were to house animals and that's what I'm using them for. But let's go into the old tack room because I've really changed that around. Okay, now we are entering, excuse the door slam. We are entering the old tack room. I'll see if I can get an old picture I have of it. It's a little bit more echo in here, sorry about that. So this old tack room, which was at one point just covered in, you know, wooden walls, dusty when we moved in here. There was a cabinet and counter set up here with a tiny hot water heater. Now, obviously you see my sink. I got a bigger hot water heater in the back. This shelving here to just hold some extra things because it's a pretty dang small room. I had to get the official sloped floor and floor drain. And then we've got the milking supplies hanging up over there, the bucket, the claw, the lid. Right now I just have a small refrigerator in here because we already had it, so it was free. And my small 30 gallon bulk tank with the Trent recorder. So we had to, you know, we had to put in we had to make this room waterproof, essentially, from the walls down. So we did, it took a little while. Now it's a plastic board. I'm really happy with this room and I like working in it. Okay, now let's go in the other barn that we're not using, really. It's mostly storage, but it is so beautiful. I think. So it's just where I'm keeping bags of feed, random things. It is such a cool barn. It's got the paver aisle. What looks like, you know, stables that they're working on redoing, stalls that they're redoing. This is where they had their tack, their saddles. It's where I have random junk <laughs> that I do use. The only weird thing is the door the door is here, 
instead of at the end. So there's not good airflow through here, which is not good for the hot weather. The mornings are great because the sun shines through there. But see, it's just got this open, this openness to it. It's very cool. It could be used, you know, we could just put up doors, gates here so we can bring cows in or, or we could go a little bit more serious with it and make a big change. Maybe do like a bedding pack, but that would be an investment. So we'll wait to see if we want to do that. Last thing is this whole pasture used to be, you know, wooden post and rail. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera. You might be able to see how some of the grass is a little bit more lime green. This was the riding ring, the circle ring that they had for horses. And it was, you know, excavated flat. We took it down, reseeded it. So that's why the grass is coming in. It's a little sparse. We're not the best at this right now, but it'll fill in over time slowly. But what I did was, I mean, they had six or seven paddocks and that wasn't going to work for me. <laughs> the wooden fencing was all falling down. You can see some of the cows over there. So I put up just a three strand hot wire, um, high tensile electric fence. I did pay somebody to put up the perimeter fencing because I don't have a lot of experience with it. Has about six and a half acres of pasture total now, all enclosed. And then the cows are moved around using temporary fence, which you see there, some poly wire. Again, excuse right here, this is, even on the inside of the pasture, this is where the the ring was and it is ugly, but the pasture looks much better out where the cows are and where they're actually eating. So that's really it. It's not a lot to see <laughs> once I'm actually filming it. I'm like, okay, it's only a few minutes of information, but maybe you're watching this because you have a horse property and, or you see a horse property for sale in your budget and that might work better for getting cows in the nearer future than buying an old dairy farm or something. So maybe you got some ideas. I hope you did. I hope I'll be able to share some good insights about what I know with dairy and then also not so much insights, but learning and experience as I start this first year, um, being a micro dairy farmer rather than just a regular dairy farmer. So I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe, like the video if you like it, share it with somebody who might think is interesting. Well, I hope you think they're interesting. Share with somebody who, you, who might think the video is interesting. Okay, see you next time.